thank you for visiting my channel. I am glad you are here. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you are here for the first time, we are listening to 432 Hertz. My name is Rochelle, and I help beginners like you in affiliate marketing to navigate through the affiliate marketing jungle, teach you how you can post links from the comfort of your home and make money. I do tons and tons of research to give you the tools you need to create a business the easiest, fastest, and most cost efficient way possible. I am always looking for new tips, tricks, and secrets to share with my audience all the time. I am an affiliate with the Share a Sale Network. And I also create step-by-step -step video tutorials that show you how to create an online business with an affiliate WordPress website and also learn SEO to rank on YouTube and Google and other major social media platforms. Are you a beginner? Great. I welcome you. This channel is for you. This channel is for beginners. Can you watch a video? Can you follow step-by-step -step instructions? Do you have a computer and the internet? If the answer is yes to all of these questions, then you have arrived at the right channel at the right time. If you're not sure on what affiliate network to join, or you're not sure on what products that you would like to promote, I've got a couple of playlists that I will leave in the link in the description. And also, if you look up to the right hand corner, you will also find the thumbnails that you can click into and watch anytime the playlist so you can follow along with me on any of my videos. I can answer any questions you may have and I'm happy to do so. In this channel you do not need experience. No experience, no problem. No experience necessary. This video is how to create an optimized post in a free WordPress website. I take you into the back end of a free WordPress website to create a post. I show you step by step using a template what you need to do in order to optimize a free WordPress post. I give you just the facts. Let's get down to business. Now we're going to go very quickly through the optimization for your free WordPress site. And also I am going to put this information in the ebook, which I will put a link in the description for you. It is also going to be on the website so you can copy and paste that into any type of document and use it as a template for creating an optimized free WordPress site. So basically this is what the template is going to look like. When you follow these directions, and this is, I'm going to go fairly quickly because I don't want to take up a lot of your time and you can always download the template and you can always follow the template at your own speed. We're just going to go over to the share a sale site and I'm going to pull up my information. So when you choose your merchant, if you go with the merchant status, this will show you all of your merchants that you've recently joined. It will also show you the links that you can go to the merchants dashboard. Okay, so I've been doing an optimized post for the plant re remedy. Just going to click in the get links. Now we're going to go step by step but I am going to move fairly quickly. 
as quick as my computer will allow me to. So the first thing you want to do is you want to check the merchant's terms. Now, why is this important? Because some merchants say that you do have to put up a disclaimer for saying if you are promoting some, some of their products that the link will lead to an, an affiliate commission. You could read the merchant description and then you can check out the terms and conditions. You could also look at the commission rates and the PPC keyword rules. So okay, so now you have your program keywords. So you're going to gently copy these keywords. These are the keywords that your merchant has already done their research. And these are the keywords that people are typing in. Save the keywords and go to Google. And as you start typing in, and since I have typed them in before, that I'm gonna have more come up. But when you start typing in, you will see Google will give you suggestions. So the, my, the Google suggestions that are, it's given me are these right here. CBD oil for dogs, CBD oil for anxiety, type in your main keyword. Basically, this is what people are looking for. They're looking for this. going to put a comma on the end if you want to use them for your tags. So the next step will be is you will also notice here this is called keywords everywhere and this will also give you related keywords that people are typing in. So you can gently just copy these keywords here or you can look down at these keywords here and see which ones are going to be good for you. I'm just copying these keywords right here. Just by mousing over, clicking copy to add your merchant's keywords into your tags. And I'm just gonna pull up the post that I've already did here so that you can see that the merchant's keywords are added into the tags. So I have all the merchant's keywords in the tags. And the next step will be to take the merchant's keywords and turn them into ha hashtags. So basically all you do is you copy the keywords, whoops, you copy the keywords. That way you have your keywords and plus you will have your, your tags as well, your hashtags, okay? So you can just very simply go in front of each one and put a hashtag. So you turn your keywords into your hashtag and you put them in your, your post and usually down at the bottom area. So I put them down here, right here at the bottom. So now what you need to do is before you create your categories, your new categories, you choose a focus keyword phrase, which is also called an HTML anchor. So mine that I have chosen is Eight benefits of CBD oil. This is my keyword phrase right here. This is my focus keyword phrase right here. This 
is going to be used in various places in the post and as we go through I will show you. So now you want to create a title with your focus keyword phrase. Now the view viewable limits is 60 characters that Google sees. So you want to make sure you're not going over that amount of characters. So you want to make sure your title is not too short, but yet not too long. And here I have used the focus key phrase, and I've also used a synonym for the CBD, which is actually an acronym, but it could also be a synonym. So now they are recommending that you use your focus keyword or your focus key phrase in at least two of your high level um, your high level headings. So before we go over to create the different headings, we are going to create a paragraph. And our first paragraph will have the keyword phrase right here. Here you see this is the keyword, it has the keyword phrase in the beginning. So you want to, I'm going to make this bigger. I'm just going to make it a medium size so it's a little bit bigger. Okay. So you want to have your keyword phrase and then th the rest of your text. And you have to make it clear what it is your post is about. Your first paragraph will tell people exactly what your post is about. If it doesn't, then it's not clear. So now because we don't actually have the Yoast plugin, we are going to create something that is similar to the snippet or what you call the meta description. It is something that is similar to your first paragraph. And I'm just going to go over here to the document. Now this all might be new to, to you. And um, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Because uh, mistakes are a way to do things better. I know it sounds a little silly, but it's true. Okay, so this is what you call the excerpt. Now they say this is optional, but I would put this in. Okay, so I am using my paragraph right here with my focus key phrase in my excerpt. Because this is similar to a snippet that the Yoast has in the plugin. Now you also want to watch your length you don't want to have more than 150 or 155 characters. 150 to 155 characters. Because it will be cut off and the viewing area, people will not be able to see all of your text. So now the next thing that you do is you create headings. And there are six levels of uh, there are six levels of headings, one to six. So you would use the heading to break up your post and to in introduce other key elements. Okay, so this is actual this is actually my second heading right here. If I click in, in here, you, you, just, you will see this is heading two. And then I have a little bit of text here, which is my paragraph. And then I have this here is heading three. This is heading four. 
it goes down to heading 5 and heading 6. So this is what is breaking up my post. And these headings are created with keywords and your keyword phrase. Your upper level headings should have a variation of your keyword phrase in it. Now, this is up to you, but when you create a featured image, I would go to canva.com and create a free account because you can put your custom dimensions in and decide on what type of elements. And size is going to depend on your theme. If I go to replace this, it's going to tell me that it takes 1200 pixels by 628 or 675, okay? So that might not mean anything to you right now, especially if you're new to doing uh, search engine optimization. But when you go to Canva, you create your, your account. Anytime you want to create a design, you just click on create design. And if you have custom dimensions, you can add them in here. See, you could I could put 1200 by whatever I need to put in there. Or when you click on create a design, you can choose from different types of sizes and designs for like, for instance, a YouTube channel art, YouTube thumbnail, a Pinterest pin, an Instagram post, a Facebook post. So it's a good idea to get an account over here. Now I, I'm sure you can get an account with other places too, but this is the one that I use that I do all my designs with. And I have a number of different designs in which I have created. I use it for all of my thumbnails. I use it for my site icon. I use it for branding. Pretty much anything that you can think of, you can use Canva for. And I have done video tutorials on Canva. Okay, so the next step would be to make sure when you add your featured image, and do you see how I'm following this template here that I will put in the description and also in the ebook? When you add your featured image and you click into it, you will see this edit box come up. You want to make sure that you put your focus keyword phrase in here and also a little bit of a description because the alt text is actually for people who are visually impaired. So it will read out. This is instead of the image, it'll read out benefits of CBD oils. And then of course you would insert your image in after you finish doing that. And then you would update. And that is your featured image done. And it also, the size is also going to depend on the theme that you use. But the image alt attributes are what I just showed you. And also if you have any other images to put this information in. The next step will be to get the merchant code. Now the code that's compatible with the free uh, website is when you use the bookmarklet tool when you use the customized link generator or you use text links or banners. Anything with HTML you can use with a free site. And you also want to make sure that you have enough outbound links. So what I have discovered is if you have four outbound links to the same merchant page, which is just going to show you, these are the outbound links right here. This is an outbound link. This was made with a bookmarklet tool. This is another bookmarklet tool. This is a banner. The bookmarklet tool. I also have a custom uh, link in here and I have a text link in here. So there's quite a few links 
So you want to make sure that you have at least, where am I? You want to make sure that you have at least the four outbound links to the same merchant's page, and then you want two to four links to other merchant or other websites that you have, other places. Okay, so here is an example of another outbound link. This is an example of a text link. This is an outbound link as well. The next thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have something called internal links or links that will point back to your own website. And if you don't know what to use, you could always just say go uh, make a link, go to the home page, or with me it's the ebook for the DIY affiliate marketing. So I've added those two links in there. So altogether I have the four links and the six links. And this is important. And the way to get your links is to just go and to, to your posts or your pages and get the URR, URL link and just copy it. Click on the three dots and you will see copy a link. So you can just copy this link, go back over to your post and find something that's relevant. It could be anything. And just do a highlight and then paste. And you will see your link going in and you can have it open in a new tab and then this now becomes an internal link. So next is readability. So number one, you have to make sure you have enough content up to 300 words at the minimum for your whole post. And it also talks about transition words. Transition words are words that connect phrases and paragraphs together. And for me, transition words are a bit of a challenge. So I'm not very good at the transition words, but I can still get a good score with the Yoast. Your paragraphs, you don't want to have longer than 100 and 150 words to 200 words. So the transition words enhance your readability score, make it easier for a reader to understand how the thought and the idea are connected. And here is an example of some transition words. Therefore, which will talk about cause and effect. In other words, you are making something clear. However, is a contrast. For instance, is an example. Above all is an emphasis. In addition to is an enumeration or numbered. After that, meanwhile and moreover is time. Similarly, likewise, similarity or the same. In conclusion, to sum up, in short, summarize and conclude. Transition words are the glue that holds your text together. So now another thing that the Yoast plugin talks about is something called the Fleish Reading Ease Score. So what is that? The the measures the readability of a text and it's based on the average length of your sentences measured by the number of words the average number of syllables per word and most people will just skip over this and say well that doesn't really mean a lot to me a score of 100 means your copy is very easy to read and a score of zero means your text is very difficult to read I'm just going to go over to Google for a second and pull that up to show you what this is because it's important that you understand exactly what it is, uh, not fleshing the disease. Fleesh, reading ease, okay. So, what is it? What it is, let's look at what Yoast says. Yoast is a good place to go to find any type of information. 
it is the plugin that we use when we are on a WordPress site where you can use plugins. Okay, so this is what Yoast says. It's very easy to read, easily understood by an average 11 year old student. 90 to 100 score. Easy to read, 80 to 90. Fairly easy to read, 70 to 80. Easily understood by 13 to 15 year old students, 60 to 70. 50 to 60, fairly difficult to read. 30 to 50, difficult to read, best understood by college graduates. And zero to 30, very difficult to read, best understood by university graduates. Okay, so I'm actually going to copy this link right here. And all you gotta do is just click on it and copy. I'm just gonna copy that because I'm gonna put it also in my description. So I hope that clarifies it a bit. I hope it didn't make it more complicated. Okay, so now you must have heard of something called the passive voice and the active voice. So the active voice describes a sentence where the subject performs the action stated by the verb. In fact, sentences constructed in the active voice add impact to your writing. With passive voice, the subject is acted upon by the word. So here we look at do, am doing, was doing. Think of passive as being in the past or going to be done. And the example that I find is relevant to this video is you get a discount today is active. You will get a discount today is passive. And also you can always go to Google and type it in and it will sh bring you up a whole bunch of different information that you can that you can look at. Or you can just go here to Yoast and type in passive you know, sometimes it is so much better for a person to do the research themselves rather than watch somebody else do it and not learn anything. Okay, so I'm just I just typed in passive and active. Why and okay. So basically they want you to enter your email address before you get any information. Just gonna go to Google. And anytime you wanna find something out, just go to Google and type it in the search bar. Or ask your phone, say, hey Google, can you tell me what passive means? Okay Google. Okay, Google, can you uh, put your volume up? Can I have the definition of passive, please? So there you go. Google just gave you its explanation, but guess what? That's a little complicated, Google. I need something simpler. Passive and active voice. So here is a good thing here. What is active and passive voice example? So that's what you want to look at. You want to look at examples rather than look at the definition because the definition could be a little bit more complicated. So the active voice describes a sentence where the subject performs the action stated by the verb, which is basically what I just said. With passive voice, the subject is acted upon by the word. It makes for a murky roundabout sentence. You can be more straightforward with an active voice. And this is the reason why we will use, we use active voice rather than passive voice in search engine optimization. Consecutive sentences. Consecutive sentences uh, doesn't mean something that you are serving in jail. 
consecutive sentence means one sentence after the other. And you have to make sure that you do not start your sentences with the same word because that makes for not good search engine optimization and search engines don't like that. So now the subheading distribution, it all depends on how much text you have as to what you are going to be using as the subheadings. And this is something that you need to think about. It's not something that you're gonna do very quickly. Like for instance, this post that I created here with the different headings, I first found the keywords and I found my focus keyword. And then I found the best title with my focus keyword and also different keywords that I was using. Every heading that I have talks about something different, but in the same area. So you just have to figure it out because your post is going to be different than my post. So you just have to figure that out when you are creating your post. And then you want to also see wh what, what and who you are sharing to. You want to make sure when you are looking at your document, you want to make sure that you have stick to the top of the blog if you want it to be seen at the top of the blog. You can have a look at the permalink. And also something, this is called the slug. And here it has my focus key phrase in, in there. You want to make sure you have your focus key phrase in there. Your category should be your focus key phrase plus your title, or sorry, your title with your focus key phrase and uh, any other relevant category. You can very easily add new categories by choosing to add new categories and your tags you can add your tags at, at any time you, but you have to make sure they're there your featured image you want to make sure that you have all of your um, your alternate information your excerpt you want to make sure that this is filled out and you can use your first paragraph with your focus key phrase in it. Do you want to allow comments? Do you want to allow pingbacks? And you want to make sure that you are updating your post so you don't lose any information. If you have more than one WordPress, then you can very easily copy all of your information out of your post that you have created for the search engine optimization post just by simply clicking in these three dots and going to the code editor. Once you go to the code editor you just click below the title and then you just go select all and copy. This will copy your whole post and I will show you as an example. I'm going to create a new post When you become a member of this site, this is how you will log in. You will log in with your username and password that you created. I'm just taking a guess at that. <laughs> I don't know I have so many passwords. It might be the right one, it might not be. Yes, it looks like it is. But Okay, so I just want to click on the plus. This is the difference in the paid site and the free site. You do not have the convenience of this plus right here. Okay, so basically all you do is you go into the three dots in the paid site, just like you went into in your other site. You go to your code editor 
you have to make sure you're in your code editor and then you paste the information that you copy and it will duplicate your whole post to exactly what you created except for the title so you will have to make sure that you get your title and also you have to add the tags and you also have to add the featured image as well right. view the post hard compared to doing the whole post over again so this is a way that you can duplicate the, the work that you're doing publish so here you can see that you've duplicated the same post over again and you have all of your your sharing buttons here as well that you can share too and that is the last thing that you do you want to make sure that you are sharing and here is the places where you can share too I'm just going to go back into my dashboard to show you so you would go to your post the one that you just did that's completely optimized right now into the three dots click on the share you will have to connect with your LinkedIn your Facebook, your Tumblr, and your Twitter. Connect with your Instagram, although I don't see it right now. But you want to make sure that you share to your Pinterest. Pinterest is very important. Oops. It's something that comes up easily, more easily than any other social media be online at the site to use my Pinterest. So now I can click into my Pinterest and it should bring up some some images. say I want to use well there's a few that I'd like to use so I'm going to use my tailwind okay so I'm going to choose this one 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 and choose that one so now I've saved these into tailwind and then I can go and I can schedule them to go on my Pinterest go to the schedule okay so I want to choose the board that I want them to go on and then I will add them to the queue and then they will go on my Pinterest board. I can also use the save and I can do the exact same thing, but quicker. Just gonna save it to this board right there. Okay, so the last thing that I am gonna show you and that is adding your social media sites and this is very important I'm just going to go into the edit okay. 
I don't think that I've missed anything. I've pretty much covered everything that you would find on the Yoast plugin. And if you have any questions or if you have anything that you'd like to add, then leave me a comment. Um, you can also send me an email at the.diyaffiliate at gmail.com. I will leave that in the description. Okay, so now the last thing that I want to cover, remember this is the free WordPress. There's a lot you can do with it. It is time consuming, but it is worth it. Oh, okay, so I need to go into my visual editor. Don't get stuck in the code editor, okay? Because if you get stuck in the code editor, you won't know what to do. Okay, so now you want to get your link. Sorry, you want to add by clicking add and looking, typing in social for the first time, you will see social icons, okay? So basically you just click on there. This is your social icon. And you can see I have another row that just came up. So what you would do is you would just click in each one. You would open up your Google Doc with all of your links. I call it the hyperlinks for all social outlets. And you would put each one in the places where it goes. For instance, LinkedIn, you would make sure that you put in your LinkedIn. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna go through this one. So if you wanted to add any other social media that doesn't show up, like for instance, say you wanted to add a Reddit, you would just click into the, the icon, you will see enter an address, and you will enter your URL that you got from the top of your browser. So for Reddit, I believe it's right here. Just copy, this is why you keep your links all in one place so that you can do this fairly quickly. And then just click into the apply and there you have your social media site. Okay, so now if you want to share further other than the ones that you've already shared to you, you could always go into your media site and get the link, the sharing link, and the way to get that. I'm just going to, I don't want to update that. I want to get rid of those. Anytime you want to change anything or undo anything, there's the undo arrow right there. And I'm just going to undo what I've done here because I don't want them in there. There we go. And then update. and visit the site. Now remember this is a free WordPress. This is actually the link right here. This is the whole link. So if you wanted to share your post you can very easily go into any of your social media platforms. Let's say, uh, well, did I already share to LinkedIn? I'm not sure, I think I did. Say I go into LinkedIn. This should take me into my LinkedIn. Whatever the address that you put in there is the address it will take you to. And do you see how I branded this at the top? My LinkedIn says DIY affiliate. And this is what I mean by branding and creating a affiliate brand online is to brand all of your social media the same. Okay, so this is my LinkedIn. And I haven't been here for a while. Oh, but you would just add a post any way that you normally would add a post into any of your social media. And you could go to any one of 
the places that you have very easily just to click into it and go there. Okay, well, I hope this has been helpful. I know that it took me a little bit longer to do. It's because uh, my camera wasn't working. My <laughs> I wasn't able to record. The internet was slow. It was just a very, not a very good week. But it's finally done, and I hope that it's helpful to you. And also, to help you more, you will find the link to the ebook in which I have all the videos s that I created while I was creating an affiliate marketing business from the beginning. And I will also put this template in there as well as in the membership website in which I will also put a link to to be able to help you out more. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.